What's up guys, hope you're doing good, welcome back to the channel and we're back on Carex Drift Racing Online again and this is just another quick tutorial, this time showing you how to apply stickers or vinyls to the windows and showing you how this setting works and just showing you a few different examples of the different things that you can do using the window sticker feature. Right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is obviously go to your garage, then go to the design, and then choose vinyls. And then from there, I'm just showing you a blank um, design with nothing on it, and here we go. So first off, I'm just going to show you how this feature or this setting actually works. So I'm just going to choose any kind of sponsor or logo, and then I'm just going to simply put it on the window where I want it to appear. So if you look in the top right of the screen, you'll see something that says whole car. And this is basically the button that you push to decide which surface you want your sticker or vinyl to appear on. So for Xbox, you click down the right stick. I think the same for PlayStation 4. For PC, I'm not quite sure what the button is, but it will say in the top right. And as you can see, there are three different settings for this feature. You can either have your vinyl or sticker appear just on the window, just on the car, or on both the window and the car at the same time. So there's three different settings of which you can use. Next, I'm just gonna give you three quick examples of how you can use each of the three different settings for this. So first off, I'm gonna show you something that uses the window only setting. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it look like I've got the rear side window tinted. So I've just got a shape that kind of matches the window shape and I'm gonna make sure that it covers the window but make sure that it doesn't cover any other windows because I just want this window to have the tint effect. And then obviously I'm gonna change the setting so that the vinyl only appears on the windows only. Then I'm also just gonna hit the symmetry button so that we've got this vinyl on the other side of the car. And that's just one cool way that you can use the window only feature. So next I'm gonna show you an example of what you could use the car only feature for. What I'm gonna do is just get a kind of um, speckled or you know spotted effect and obviously I just want this on the car I don't want this to appear on the windows or on the car and the windows just the car only and simple as that another example of how you can use this setting but this time the car only and this works really good with fades and you know just anything you don't want on the windows and finally just another quick example this time showing a use of the car and windows both at the same time setting just for example if you wanted like this a kind of cool shape or flames or you're making a pro drift car and you want uh, a certain vinyl to appear not just on the car body but also going over the windows then you just choose that setting there's three settings obviously we've talked about that um, this is a use for the final setting which is car and windows at the same time and that's it really just a quick guide on how the feature actually works and the three different settings you can set it to and just a couple of examples of uses of those settings. Obviously, you can use these three different settings any way you want. I'm just showing you a few quick examples of things that you could do. And this is a really cool feature, especially the fact that it has the three different options. And yeah, I'm glad they've got it in here. Maybe it's time to take note Forza because a lot of people have asked for this in your games that have millions of pounds of budget, but still not in there. So hopefully we'll see that soon because smaller developers can do it pretty easily so why can't you but anyway that's the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it hope it's helped you and if it has leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this if there's anything you want to know drop it in the comments and i will respond and i'll see you in the next one have a good day see you later